Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit without affecting playback in Reaper. I have a track in front of me here, and I want to edit it even during playback. But I don't want it to restart every time I replace my cursor, which is what happens by default. So if I play the track, and I copy this piece here, and then paste it over here, it restarts it, where I place the cursor. If I replace here, same thing, copy this, paste it here. It keeps restarting when I move the cursor. And I don't want that behavior. So we can fix that a few different ways. And we'll do that with our preferences. Let's go to our menu under Options and go down here under Preferences. Then we'll go down under Audio and choose Seeking. And right over here are the preferences that the side of Reaper replays from different points. When we're copying and pasting, by default, all three of these are turned on. Top Ruler, Empty Areas of Tracks, and Empty Area Below Tracks. So let's start with this one. Let's turn it off. And now if I click below the tracks down here, it's not going to restart. So I can play it throughout, click where I want, and it doesn't affect playback. So if I want to copy and paste things, like my snare track, let's play from the top, copy it, click over here, click this track, and hit paste. Do the same thing for bar 10. Maybe this one, copy it, paste it here, or here, at bar eight. And we can edit as we want without it affecting playback. But doing it this way involves one extra step, because we have to re-click the track we want to paste to. Otherwise, if we just copy it and paste it down here, it's going to make a new track, and we don't want that. So let's try a different way. Let's go back to our preferences. Let's turn this one back on. And let's try the top ruler. So now, if I click on the top ruler up here, it's not going to restart playback. So I can copy this piece here, click in bar 10, and paste it. Bar 8, paste it. Do the same with this one. Go to bar 10, bar 8. And you can do multiple tracks at the same time. Let's undo all that. Let's grab these three. Copy it. Click our ruler at bar eight. It doesn't reseek. And just paste it. Bar 10, same way. So we can copy and paste without affecting playback for the artist or the client that's sitting in the same room. And they don't want to keep hearing it reseek or playback again from where you pasted it. But there's still one other way we could do this. Let's undo all that, go back to the preferences, and instead of the ruler, let's turn off empty areas of tracks. And that's the sections right over here. So if I start playback and click here, it doesn't reseek or start playback again, making it even easier to copy and paste. So we can start playback, copy this. Paste it here, maybe cut it, paste it here, copy this, paste this, copy multiples like this, paste them here, and so on. So it's very flexible based on how you want to work. If you want to use the ruler, the empty areas of tracks, or the empty area below tracks. And you can choose none of them or we'll put them back to the default. Maybe just turn them on when you need that. But there's one other thing I want to show you. That's the feature down here called Smooth Seek. It's off by default, so if you jump around with your cursor, it sounds like this. It's kind of jumpy and out of time. If you want to make it smoother, 
So it sounds more musical. Just turn this arm right here. And it's not going to change the playback position immediately. That's why they call it smooth seek. So if we set it to one bar or one measure, it's not going to re-seek or play back again until the end of the bar. So it'll sound more musical. Watch. I'll start at bar eight. And if I want to jump to bar 14, it sounds very musical. We're back to 10. It waits to the end of the bar before it jumps there. Say so I want to jump back to the beginning, right here. It waits to the end of the bar before it moves. And we could adjust that to be two bars, four bars, right over here. Let's make it two bars. Now it's going to play two bars before it reseeks when we move the cursor. So I'll jump to here. And finish two bars before it jumped there. So back to the beginning. We had two bars before it jumped. And then it jumped to bar 16. We could also have it smooth seek based on our markers. Right up here, we have the start, the synth intro, the snare intro, and so on. So if we choose the option right here, play to next project marker or end of current region, it's not going to reseek or start playback again until the end of the marker. So it's great for working out song arrangements. If I start here, I want to see what it sounds like. If I jump over this one, just click right here, and it waits to get to the end of the marker before it jumps or reseeks. So I want to jump to the beginning. It's going to wait to bar 14 and then jump back. So it's a lot more musical and a lot more useful for trying out different song arrangements. Maybe you want to skip the section right here. Just start from here, jump to here, and it's not going to play the section. You can jump right to this one, and you can hear how it's going to sound. So that's pretty much it. That's editing without affecting playback and using Smooth Seek to make it sound more musical when we move our cursor from section to section. So I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mom.